Alright guys, good morning. Welcome back to the half fast 719. Gotta do a little cleaning up. Uh, clean up today and uh, downloaded uh, the file for the wiring schematics for project crack pipe so um, it seems pretty basic um, other than the speedometer Let's go ahead and put that down there um, other than the speedometer and I think oil pressure gauge I thought it was a electronic oil pressure I don't know why I was thinking electronic oil pressure Um, yeah, so oil, oil's there, and it's, uh, manual, or mechanical, so I gotta see if I can't find something that'll work, or adapt, or something. They sell one of these units that's digital, that converts to newer engines, or, uh, LS1s, stuff like that, um, where you can buy, I think it's like 250 bucks, and it's just, it's just the internals, I guess, so it's not a new bezel, it's really not anything, it's just, uh, internals, um, so I kind of want to keep this, keep this one. I did polish this plastic as best as I could a long time ago. Um, you know, obviously there's scratches, pretty deep scratches. Maybe I can try to try to try to buff those out again. But so for the most part, we got fuel, battery, temperature. The temperature is a sending unit style, and then we have lights blinker lights which are on that edge oh you guys can't even see anything so got the blinker there got something else there something else there blinker there so what I'm thinking is one of these lights will be like a check engine light and the other light will be something else so anyway, uh, back to the project crack pipe. Um, what we got here is no project crack pipe. I sold it last night. <laughs> sold that junk. Some guy gave me 500 bucks for it. It's gone. Put it on offer up. And uh, 500 bucks. Gone. Um... I did have to tow it, loaded it on the trailer, that was kind of a pain in the butt, um, but yeah, brought it down to his house, cash money, 500 bucks, so, I don't know what I'm going to do, but anyway, you guys know I'm lying, still got it, looking pretty sweet. Looking pretty dupe. Oh, I can't bend over, so... Anyway, there is my issue with getting this front end. Um, I can pretty much just unbolt that, I think. Maybe not, maybe it's... It's, I think it's a uh, part of it so what I'm gonna do I thought I was gonna have to drop it down a little bit as you can see in there maybe maybe not the flange that's where I thought it was hitting was that flange just hitting the oil cooler turns out the 
whole thing is hitting. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mark this out and I'm just going to cut it. Then this way air can flow in and down. So because it really doesn't do anything other than the one mounting hole right there. Um, but yeah, this thing, that thing goes all the way over there, bolts into there, yeah, I think I'll, I'll just cut it here, cut it here, notch all that out, because I'd really like to keep that oil cooler right there. And yeah, I don't know. Oh, let's see under here. It's all pretty much a brand I new. I wish those air shocks worked. I am gonna try something. I was talking to my brother-in-law. Oh, and he told me to try something. So See? Got the hinges all painted. Thought I did a video, but I can't find it. Got the wire room ran with some loom. That's for the lights. For the blinkers and running lights. I'll show you those real quick. I'll show you that they're word wired. So we have lights on, buzzer still works, There's one light on, one light on, man those are dim, there's some dim lights, but they're on, blinkers don't work without the key on, that noise goes away. So, as you can see, blinky, a blinky, that's left, this is right, headlights, anyway, let's see what the flashers do. So, there we have that. Um, not sure why that light don't work. Turn that off. Anyway, lights are still on, lights off, just trying to put those on, and V6 Mustang, purring, those are on, that's on, so anyway, I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the swap meet again, see if anything new, and uh, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I totally lost my, spaced it. Um, I gotta get some hardware, so I gotta measure out what size bolts I need for the shocks. 
And, uh, yeah, so when I, I got a couple things I got to weld up still. So I got to weld up these little chingalingis right here. I'm going to weld these on there for the uppers of the shocks. So, put that on there. As you can see, I just got that bolt there. So, Gonna do something like that, or the nut will have some threads to get on. I can also that piece right there. I can rotate it. But anyway, it's already getting warm out here, and it's 8:30. I know it says 9:30, but that's Colorado time. Uh, tomorrow, got to get some oil for the kid's truck. Got to change his oil. Change his oil. Um, hardware for this. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else. I mean, other than a million other things. But, let's see if I can't. So my brother-in-law and me were talking, and maybe... Maybe I have this hose in here wrong. So what I'm gonna do, maybe this thing's kind of like a one-way valve, because I have this T. Instructions say that the T's gotta come from here, go in, and then these go to the shocks. So I'm gonna try that and then see if that works. And I'll let you guys know if it works or doesn't work. But hopefully it works. I need to do something. I don't really want to put that torsion bar set up on here. Because I can't get the front low enough with the torsion bar. Unless I can rotate it one key. One tooth or one whatever. And uh, I don't see that happening. So. Um, also while I'm at swap meet. I'm going to see if I can't find a. An air cleaner. If I can't find an air cleaner after the swab meet, I'm gonna go to the junkyard. Junkyard and uh, find one of those. Probably buy one of those. A windshield washer tank because this one's cracked. I should have just grabbed one last time I was there. So this one's all busted. Um, get one of those and uh, I thought I was gonna have to get some more stuff, but. I can't really think about it right now. I'll write it down. I'm getting old. Back's hurting. I didn't know getting old caused all these issues. So, anyway, I gotta find some inserts for the shocks too. Um, because these bolts, these bolts, which I don't get, it only has the one insert I don't know why they don't supply with another metal insert or something but maybe <clears throat> the vehicle has something on it so anyway got to figure that out too um just going to do some type of pressing a sleeve I have the old shocks maybe I'll take a couple sleeves out of those and put them in there so anyway guys that's that's it project crack pipe Fired right up when I moved out of the garage. I didn't film it because the camera was in the house. Um, but yeah, coming along, coming along. So I'm gonna go do some stuff, figure out some things, take some notes, do what I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, and you guys didn't want to film me or see me filming myself putting that hood on. Um, Two man, two man project easily. Three man will be nice because two guys can hold the hood, 
and uh, one guy can screw the bolts in. But doing it by yourself with, oh man, oh, I don't even have the strength to lift my arms to flex, but whatever. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys comment, subscribe, do what you guys do, keep doing what you guys do, and uh, help me out, hit that like button, give me some help, and uh, maybe get some money flowing, coming in, so that I can get more work done on this project. Crack the pipe. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Later.